no way should you interfere with the fairy fold. Yes, fold. Right. You know, sometimes there are trees going, growing around it and uh, a person should not cut those trees. And I know of several people who have cut the trees and they had bad luck, they lost a limb or whatever yeah. as a result. So there's no way that I would have anything to do with a fairy fold. So I'll just go up around and have a quick look around the area here and see what's in it. Where's the fairy ring? The tree. No grass growing on it. There's no grass growing in that area. See the tree over there? She's telling me maybe it might be a fairy fort. It's very unusual looking down the tree and the area there. I'll go over there and have a look at that. Another old headstone here. Here light the body of William. And it's K something U A N aged sixty six. The date is covered with the moss, so it's hard to read that. Look at this tree here. Yeah. This is what? A bone. A bone. Mm. Oh, there's a bone here, guys. I'm not sure if that's a human bone or an animal bone. You can see there. Mm. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. But that is strange. There's stones going right around that. You can hear the what you call it? The cock, cock a doodle do in the background. Yes. Must be a house nearby. See the ring stones as well. Yeah, there's a ring. There's a tree here, guys, and all around the tree. Stop, see the stone? The stones are all going around the tree in a ring. I wonder is it a fairy fort ring? Now, usually people leave stuff on trees that's a fairy fort. Well, if it's a fairy ring, they won't go into it. They won't step into it. It's supposed to be bad luck to go inside. It's like a whole day as well. You've got to be very careful where you're walking. And there's all the stone going around the area of it. Look at that tree. A very old tree. Look at that. There's something left at the bottom of it there. I don't know what that is. Look at that. All the trees, like it's rotted away or old looking there. But it definitely does look like a fairy fort, guys, going around. Now there is stones all around the tree. It's all going around in a ring. And you can see the ring there in the picture. Going around it. So it's interesting to know. Now, funnily enough, guys, when I'm here videoing this, my phone is starting to flicker the screen. Like it's going shaky, and I can see. It's flickering a bit. Don't know if you can pick that up or not. But there is a, a weird kind of sensation going on on the screen there. And who knows, guys, it could be a fairy fort. But I ain't going inside it. That is like a, a grave with just rocks. Do you know the old, old graves? You just pile the rocks on top of the... Or the grave. A burial area here with just stones, yeah. You can see them all there, look. It's a big mound there, like a burial site. I don't think it's part of the church because the church is off up there 
where you see all the wall and stone is broken away from the old church. So there's no graves on this side of the 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 grounds of the graveyard, the church area. It's all over the other side. But it's surrounded by all this old wall, the graveyard. See the wall is broken away here into the wooded area. You can hear the stream nearby. There's that tree which we think could be a fairy fort. It is unusual to see the stones placed in a circular formation around the tree. You can see the stones over there and they're going all the way around, form that circle around the tree. Beautiful old place though. And it's very rare you come across these old graveyards with those headstones and engravements on them. The angels and crucifixions and 1700 graves, I love them. There's all the old rocks part of the old church wall. And this one is in good condition here. Here lies the body of Owen Dunn, who departed this life 29th of March, 1781, aged 54. Also Mary Dunn, who departed this life in 1780, aged 63 years old. That's in quite good condition, the writing on that one. You can see where I was coming in there, it's just forestry area. And the graveyard is in the middle of all that. There's a love heart on this one here. Erected by William. Collins, it looks like, in memory of his daughter, Elizabeth Collins, who departed this life 1822, aged only 18 years old, and the love heart on it. Beautiful headstone, 18 years old. A lot of young people here. Erected by John Collins, in memory of his father, John Collins, who died in 1901, age 86. Also his dear mother, Mary, who died in 1916, age 89. And his uncle, Thomas, who died in 1892, age 79. Also his uncle, George, who died 1896, aged 87 years old. And the above named John Collins died September 1935, aged 68, and John's sister Elizabeth Miller, who died in 1936, aged 79 years old. So that's the old graveyard. I don't know, did I do that on there in the hill? I'm not sure if I done that one. Before I go, I'll just show you quickly. I spotted another one here. And those old ones, look at those three together. It is this big, very big headstone here. There's the Lamb of God, the Sacred Heart. 
either side and the angel erected by John Smith as a last tribute of affection to the memory of his beloved daughter Mary Ann Smith who died April the 27th 1872 aged 16 years old it looks like and the other side it says also his beloved son William who died 1885 aged 30 years old in life respected in death regretted also the above named john smith who died october 1892 aged 84 years old so there's a father buried here and his children son and daughter it looks like john and mary ann erected by john and his son is or sorry his daughter mary ann is buried there she was only 16 years old and look at that fine head son he erected for his children Beautiful headstone. And the cock is still crown. So I think I'll leave it at that guys. There's that lovely gate entrance where you come in steps down an old fork and shovel left there and those two old piers are coming in don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and the thumbs up and i'll see you all again on the next one so take care guys and god bless